Did you know you can create customized reports in interactive brokers showing old trades, how much your account is up, and even how much you've paid in fees, all with a few quick clicks? Here's how it's done, plus a few more useful tips to easily navigate reports and activity statements to ensure you get the information that you're truly after. So we're here, we're inside our online web portal, and we wanna to go to the performance and report tab there to get our reports. And portfolio analyst is the place we wanna be. To get there, we open it up. We're on this page now. We wanna click on this report button right here to take us to the next screen, which is where we're gonna be able to customize all of our reporting. Now, the nice thing about interactive brokers is that you come in here and you have the information readily available to you with the previous month, quarter, calendar year, month to date, year to date, and inception as well, plus an annual performance report automatically loaded as a default report. Those kind of reports look something like this. They're nicely put together. They're about 30 pages in length, table of contents with everything you're gonna see, a bunch of different charts, different performance indicators, different kind of weightings for your position based on time. And if you keep scrolling down, you can even see some of the positions in your account, different asset classes, what you actually hold right now and how they performed year over year, year to date, custom kind of time intervals as well. Lots of data, basically all the data you could want for your current portfolio and holdings can be found in this reporting section. If you don't wanna have these standard reports, you can also make a customized report which is down here in this custom report section. We're gonna explore that in a second. Plus, when we go to check out the statement area, you can actually make statements that are a little bit easier to identify and go through a little bit quicker if you don't wanna go through a full-on big-time report. Now, it's worth mentioning as well that these reports can come in PDF, they can become in a detailed PDF, or they can go in an Excel CSV. So there's three different ways you can kind of download the report and get your data that you need to get. If you wanna to go to custom reporting to make the report that you actually wanna get and customize the data, you can actually do this. You can name it there. Andrew's report, the time period is big. You can go custom, calendar year, all these different kind of ideas there. Let's go custom, let's go to the last, uh, let's go the last month, monthly, and we can go May and July. And we're gonna get a detailed report right here. We'll go PDF. And then you can either choose a time-weighted return or a money-weighted return. And the difference between a money-weighted return and a time-weighted return is that in a time-weighted return, it does not take into account all the cash you put into your account. When you have a time-weighted return, it's only returning the stocks and their values are going up and down. If you have a money-weighted return instead, you are actually taking into account all the cash you've deposited into your account. For example, if you put $100,000 into your account and the account went on a nice heater, that would show better and if you only put in $50,000 in your account, the, the money weighted return would be better with 100K versus 50K because the account overall is better. So if you wanna get a true sense of where your account's at, I recommend going a time weighted return. And then you can also have a couple of different options here, cover page, table of contents, you can do that, you can set that on. And then you can click on the pages you actually want to have on here. And if you wanna have your trades and your kind of different kind of fees and dividends, you can have income projected on, deposits and withdrawals would be all the cash you put in, dividends, fees right there. That's all kind of the charges that you paid for in terms of what you do for market data, different things like that. Any kind of interest you may be borrowing. You want to have maybe some risk in there. You want to see your performance versus like the benchmark S&P 500. And then you want to go ahead and go, if you are a uh, trade summary for all your trades, and then you can kind of go interest, corporate actions. Maybe that's something you want to put on, maybe not. But once you have these kind of things set, you can then go ahead and then put on the continue button right there. It's going to create a custom report for you. It's also going to show you what you want to compare this against. When you put on an attribution benchmark, you want to go ahead and put this against something. You can do the SPY. Let's look that up. And then we can compare it to the SP 500. So if we compare our account to the SP 500, we're getting a kind of snapshot of where we are relative to the overall market for our kind of holdings. We can click continue and we're going to review kind of what's going on here. It's going to say it looks good. Okay. And then if it is, you can create this report. So once you click continue, you're going to get this note that the report has been saved and you can get the custom report, Andrew's report in the portfolio analyst paid under custom reports. So let's go back and get this report. You can see it right down there, custom report, Andrew's report, and we're gonna just open this up. Let's run this, click this button, run, and boom, there it is right there. Let's open it up. So here's our report, it's only 10 pages long. It's got a nice cover page on it. It's gonna start populating these pages based on the things that we added. So here's the risk measures page. We've got performance versus the S&P 500 as well. We've got different kind of breakdowns again with this kind of performance versus the S&P 500, see how we're doing. We keep scrolling down. We have our positions and trades here that we've taken on in the last two months. And we have kind of our trades in Canadian dollars versus American dollars as well, some options trades. And then we scroll down, we have some deposits, we have withdrawals, we have 
things like that. And then we keep going down, you have kind of credit and interest fees that you're paying or that I'm paying in my account. You've got your subscriptions right there as well for the market data that you're going to use. And then you have some disclosures at the bottom. So by generating these types of reports, you can actually go back and see things like fees or kind of trading commissions or different things. If you missed a trade and missed kind of filling out your own kind of trading tracker, if you track your trades, you can go back in here and actually see these. And this is one way to do it very simply. You can understand what you want to kind of piece together for these reports. It's an easy way to do it inside of your account management area. The other way and the way that I prefer to do this is with the activity statements. Reports are great. They look nice. If you want to do it quick and easy, go to a portfolio analysis. Or if you don't want to go there, you can actually skip a step here. I just noticed you can go performance and reports and you can click on statements right there. Click on statements. We're going to get to our statements page. You can actually populate these statements, these activity statements right here in your web browser. And we see here we have some kind of basic kind of areas right here. Activity, month to month summary, realized summary, commodities. We're doing commodities and trade confirmations. Let's go to activity and go through here. Look at the activity reports. We're going to go for a monthly activity report. And we want to look at HTML, view it in the browser. You can, again, get a PDF download. You can do a CSV download. Let's do it in the browser so it's nice and quick. View, reports being generated. Now, so our activity statement has been populated here. You see you've got account information. If you expand these kind of areas, you have little drop downs where it's going to show you what is underneath these tabs. You don't know what these tabs are. Make sure you click on one of these little question marks to open up a little dialog box. It's going to show you exactly what it is based on interactive brokers FAQ kind of area. It's going to be a little kind of breakdown of what that is. So go through here. Maybe you want to look at the unrealized, realized performance. You're going to see exactly where you're kind of realizing losses, realizing gains. You can see here a few losses in the past uh, past month there. You've got cash report, right? If you have the kind of currency transactions, it'll all be shown in here. PST, GHD, other fees, ending cash, Caden US, whatever you're trading in. Open positions, what you have open right now. Cost, cost basis, closing price, value, unrealized p all that kind of stuff right there. And you can see different things, trades as well. You can see all the trades that were going on in this area, interest, fees again, any kind of kind of monetary kind of areas where you need a little bit more information, you can find it in here. And you can get this again, all by going through and just getting this done with a few simple clicks inside of your interactive broker's performance portfolio, right? So you may have noticed that in here, there are fees that you have to pay for to get market data. You maybe notice this, maybe you don't, but you have to pay for this data. So you have live data to trade with in real time. This gives you the ability to see the stock price, the option prices, all together what they actually are trading at day to day, minute by minute. And to make sure you're not paying more for this kind of stuff than you need to be, and there's subscriptions you need to have, some that you don't. So if you wanna make sure that you have the right one set up and you're not paying too much, make sure you check out this video.